Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we we'll would look at how to install LaTeX on our Chromebooks. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay. So in order to install LaTeX on your Chromebook device, first you need internet connectivity. So make sure that your device is connected to internet. And then the other option is that you would have to check and see whether you have the Linux activated. So you come here and click on the gear icon here which will send us to the settings menu and then on the panel here you click on advanced then while you are at the advanced you click on the developers so if your Linux, if your chromebook is up to date you should get these developers here now for the developers you would have linux development environment and then you have this one here so you can click on turn on so while you click on the turn on you see this menu or window to tell you to set up the linux development environment then you click on next and then here you would be asked to choose a username so my username i want my username to be sedem and then it will ask for a disk size so you can choose the recommended disk size or you can give a customized one but then i'll go with the recommended right but then make sure to choose a customized one if you know you'll be doing a lot of development on your linux device sorry on your chromebook device okay so once we have this you click on install and then depending on your internet connection this will take some time so I'm going to pause the video here until it's done installing. Okay, so now it's done installing. So you could either make this bigger, right? And then uh, let me zoom this in. So the first thing you would want to do after it's done installing is if your terminal doesn't open straight forward, you could come here I move to the my apps section and then you just click on the terminal or search for the terminal and then you can just click on it here right then this would open for you okay and then once this opens all you have to do is click on you may not see all these things okay just focus on the penguin here so you have to click on the penguin here and then then terminal virtual environment would open that's a penguin right okay so once it is opened all you have to do first is to type sudo apt update right and then you wait all this while well, you have to make sure that your internet is connected okay that's a sudo app upgrade and check something okay sudo updates hmm. sudo apt get updates Okay. And then sudo apt dash get upgrade. Okay. So if the sudo apt isn't working, it means that you would have to use the sudo apt get, right? That's what I used. I don't know why for now, but then we shall see about that. Okay, so you wait for these packages to get installed. And then this is very necessary because it will have to update some of the Debian packages for us. Okay. Alright. 
Um, let's see. Okay. All right. So it's done. Let me rerun the sudo apt update and again. Let's see. Okay, now we are told all packages are up to date. Okay, so now that all the packages are up to date, the next thing we have to do in order to install LaTeX is first install the tech distribution. And we said that we will be for Linux. Bear in mind that this is the Linux section of the Chrome OS, right? So for Linux, we would use tech live, right? So sudo apt install <coughs> tech live okay but then i said that for tech life you can have you can decide to install the full package right that'll take about seven gigabytes of a bandwidth or you can install a specific one for the science right or you can install for publishers or any but then we will just go with the default tech life as in how we need the some other packages would install them ourselves right so you would click on that and then this would ask you to download some of the things you just click on yes and then let's check and see the version that this will install for us okay okay you let's enter yes for now and then once it installs we Look for the version. Interesting. It has to install a lot of things. Hmm. All right. Okay. So. Um. Yep. It's almost done. All right. So now Tech Life is done installing. So now we can clear the screen and then if we like we can create a directory and then call it latex or something right and then cd into that directory and then use our favorite text editor i'm sure it may not be installed but let's try it and see Vim. Uh, LaTeX. Uh, okay, let's say hello dot tech or something. Okay, it's here. So while we are in, let's just start typing something. So there's our document class is so what document class. Our document class is article. And then we begin to use the begin document environment to begin. Then we close. So begin documents. And then we end documents, right? So this is the document environment. Sorry. Okay. So while we are inside the beginning and end documents, we can decide to um, use the. So I say hello world. I am using LaTeX. Alright. And then we can save. So escape colon. And then X to save and then exit. Then while we are there, we compile it using the PDF LaTeX. 
So bear in mind, you can use PDF LaTeX if you want the auto to be in PDF form, right? So PDF LaTeX, hello the text was then we hit enter it compiles it you know when we do ls we see double multiple files there right so well, let me see okay for this place we would have to install our own pdf viewer in order to do that but then to quickly view that we can go to our files click on linux files here we can see the um, LaTeX, right? The LaTeX um, folder or directory, and then our hello oh, PDF here. So here you see that what we have typed. Let me increase the font for us to see. Okay, so you see hello world. I'm using LaTeX, right? Which means that. It is very possible for us to, you know, uh, type using our favorite text editor, the theme in the terminal, compile it, and then open it. But then we realize that this method is very hectic. I May mean, not be hectic, but then it's involving. You have to edit. After editing, you compile separately, and then you view. Okay, so now to install Text Studio. We open our browser and then the search button we search for text studio, right? And then the first link here sends us to textstudio.org. We click on that link and then brings us to the text studio website. We go to the download. So here, when we see here, we will be told that we recommend that you first try to install text studio from your repository of your distribution right okay so let's go back to our terminal and check whether text studio is in there so while we are here we do sudo apt install tech studio studio right let me decrease this sorry about that um So that everything is online. Okay. So do I have to install Text Studio? Hit enter. Okay. So Text Studio is available here for us. So we can click on yes. Oh, sorry. Type yes or Y on our keyboard, and then wait for Text Studio to install. Okay. It's almost there. go in all right so now text studio has finished downloading and installing let's see what you can do here okay so to launch text studio you can decide to come here and you see text studio here and you click on it or as always you can type text studio in your terminal and then we hit enter and it's opened for us so we have that here okay so now we have the studio here and this is what we get okay so the first thing we have to do is to don't worry about this we would tackle the view of the studio in details but then first let's come to wizards and then quick start while we are here just type your author your name and then your title the title of the document hello hello world or something then when you are done you leave everything like this and then click on ok so now we have this well, let me decrease this one a little and then in this one let's close it okay so now we have the site f f don't worry about these preambles we will come here but let your mind be on the document class so here you could see that they've added some extra properties but then we are interested in the document class 
and then you saw the begin and end document as we did in the terminal or in the with our favorite text editor the vim okay so here inside here we can just type hello world mm. i am using latex on chrome os or something mm, okay so when we are done you see this green button here this the first one that says build and view so this one compiles and then views the pdfs for us so you can click on this it compiles it you can see the compilation happening here if everything goes on well there's no error then you shall see our documents right here for us hello world i am using latex on chrome os so basically that's that if you want to make use of the latex um inbuilt command that's the they have for themselves then you can do the backslash latex so the reason i like text there is you can click, click on the things you want so you can see they have the commands populated here for us so you can just click on latex here and you have the definitions to the right so you can click on that then you have latex here so you can recompile it and then you view the output here so you see now that's latex there okay so if you're able to get here successfully then you have latex installed on your chrome os and you can continue from the next parts of the videos where we talk about some reserved characters and then look at the text studio interface properly and then start doing some serious latex works all right if you learned something from this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your mates so that they could also learn from this video thank you